CNN boss Jeff Zucker shocked the media world Wednesday by announcing he is resigning from CNN, the company that he's led since 2013, because of a relationship with a longtime senior colleague that he failed to disclose. Why it matters, Zucker is one of the most powerful executives in the industry and was a driving force behind CNN's new push into digital subscriptions. Details, in a note to staff tweeted by senior media correspondent Brian Stelter, Zucker said that as a part of CNN's investigation into Chris Cuomo last year, he was asked about a consensual relationship with a colleague, someone he has worked with for more than 20 years. I acknowledged the relation. I was required to disclose it when it began and I didn't. I was wrong. As a result, I am resigning today. CNN did not immediately return a request for comment. The relationship, Oxios has confirmed, was with Alison Golist, the chief marketing officer for CNN. One source called the affair an open secret at the network. In a memo obtained by CNN, Golist said, Jeff and I have been close friends and professional partners for over 20 years. Recently, our relationship changed during COVID. I regret that we didn't disclose it at the right time. I'm incredibly proud of my time at CNN and look forward to continuing the great work we do every day. Prior to joining CNN, Golis served as communications director for former New York Governor Andrew Cuomo. In an email to staffers, Warner Media CEO Jason Kilar said he accepted Zucker's resignation. He later said in a different note to staff obtained by Oxios that CNN executives Michael Bass, Amy Antelis and Ken Jots will serve as interim co-heads for CNN. Between the lines, Zucker's tenure at CNN has been debated among media insiders for years. It was reported that he was eyeing an exit from CNN last year. Editors note, this story has been updated with additional details throughout.